health alert tonight as a respiratory virus spreads rapidly in green country. Doctors saying if it isn't caught early enough, it can be deadly. One man says his two month old son was diagnosed with RSV and is now on life support in Dallas. Channel 8's Amy Jensen tells us how what seemed to start as a cold is now a baby fighting for his life. In a span of 12 hours, Jacob Garland's life turned upside down. He's breathing, I think, 27% right now on his own. It started with a cough, so Garland and his fiance took their two-month-old baby, Jacoby, to the doctor. And she sent us home. <laughs> Two other doctors later, Jacoby was diagnosed with RSV, a sometimes deadly respiratory virus. His temperature just won't go down. He can't breathe. We're giving him breathing treatment. But Jacoby kept getting sicker. Garland says his temperature dropped to 94 degrees and he stopped breathing. I have my wife in the back seat giving him CPR and I'm in the front seat of my Mustang and we're hauling butt down the highway. Baby Jacoby. He's now on life support. But right now they're saying we'll probably be on life support for at least another week. Um, maybe two. Jacoby's RSV is very serious and he isn't the only one. St. John Hospital says they're seeing a high rate of RSV this year. A doctor here in Sand Springs says about a fourth of the patients they see have RSV and that's just in this location. Dr. Rachel Ray says RSV can be minor with mainly a cough and a stuffy nose, but minor or not, it's highly contagious. Through coughing or sneezing and also through contact. And it can get worse. Any signs of trouble breathing, which would include nasal flaring, decreased feeding, being very sleepy. No matter the symptom, Garland says don't second guess yourself. I'll to get checked out from your pediatrician and, and make sure that they are okay. It could save your child's life. Reporting in Tulsa, Amy Jensen, Tulsa's Channel 8. We're pulling for you. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help pay for hospital bills, and we've got a link to that, as well as more information about RSV for you at K2L.com.